Developing now, police tell us the man they believe set a dozen cars on fire at this valley apartment complex could be a killer as well. Take a look. Francis Kletke was arrested for killing his own father. That happened three years ago. Well, Kim Powell is live near 16th Avenue in Highland where that fire started with more on these twists and turns in this case. Kim. Yeah, seeing a homeless man tells us that he found Kletke sleeping on this bus bench right here and then turned him into the police, which, as you can see, it's right in front of the apartment complex where neighbors say he's been causing a ruckus for the last three weeks. And they tell us tonight that after hearing about his criminal past, they're just glad he's not their problem anymore. I don't normally take pictures of people, but something told me get his picture. Joelle Armani snapped this photo of Francis Kletke last week after watching him jiggle car handles in the middle of the night. By Tuesday, a carport burned down and a dozen cars were damaged. She gave this photo to police and they put it out asking for help tracking him down. Right away, neighbors knew Kletke had something to do with it. I was like, that's the dude from the Jeep. And as soon as my wife seen it, she's like, that's that guy, that's that guy. This man, who wanted to remain anonymous, is referring to this Jeep, now with a note on it, ready to be impounded. He says Kletke showed up about three weeks ago and was going back and forth to the carport until it burned down. Neighbors believe Kletke was living out of the van that was parked right here. They also say that appears to be the first car that went up in flames. But none of the neighbors suspected that Kletke was capable of murder. I was very alarmed. I was like, oh my gosh. Yavapai County Sheriff's Office says he killed his dad at Fossil Creek in 2016, wrapped his body up in a tent, and left in a silver Jeep Liberty before his arrest in California. That right there was shocking to me because I figured he was just some homeless guy coming and going out of a car. I really didn't think that he had done things to that extent. Court records show that Kletke bonded out of jail last year and his trial for murder is in 2020. This kind of tells me, you know, I need to be a little more careful. I never would have thought that he did something like that, but then again, it's the world we live in. And court records also show this arson was Kletke's third arrest in Maricopa County since April. He was arrested for obstruction and shoplifting. However, according to court documents, he should not have been able to post bail, but those charges were dropped, so he was released. And tonight we're asking the county attorney why. We'll be sure to keep you updated as we learn more. For now reporting live in Phoenix, I'm Kim Powell for Arizona's Family.